Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Friel back with you again this week to teach you another math lesson that's all about addition. When we add numbers, we're putting numbers together. We're adding more. When we solve addition problems, we see a special math symbol that looks like this. This is called a plus sign. You're putting the numbers together. You're adding the two groups together. So when you're done solving an addition problem, you will end up with a bigger number. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen with you. Like I said, we're solving addition problems today, all within 10. So by the end of this number, I want you to be able to say that you can solve addition problems within 10. And parents that are watching in kindergarten, we really concentrate on solving addition and subtraction problems just within 10. All right. All right. So we have learned various ways or strategies to solve addition problems. So let's go over them together. Together and in the classroom, we have used a 10 frame to solve addition problems. This says, I can use a 10 frame. And the problem that they're showing here is three plus two. And three plus two does equal five. If you count all those circles together on the 10 frame, it does equal five. We've also learned that you can draw a picture or you can use a picture to help you solve an addition problem. So it looks like to solve that same problem, three plus two equals, they used three purple stars and they also drew two red hearts to solve that problem. Three plus two equals five. We've also together used counters or other objects to help solve addition problems. So here they used three red counters and two yellow counters to help solve that problem. Just last week in the math video that you were with me for, I talked to you about using your brain to help solve addition problems. And that's something that we're gonna continue with this week as well. We've also in the past used a number line, which is a great way to solve addition problems. So starting on the number three and then hopping forward two numbers since we're adding more, one, two, and then you get the answer as five. We've also talked a lot about using our fingers, and I know that's one of our favorite ways to solve a math problem, and that's okay. I can use my fingers, and you can do that. And I have a little secret for you. Mrs. Friel still uses my fingers sometimes to solve math problems. And you know what, that's okay. Oftentimes I use my brain and my fingers to help me count on to solve those addition problems. That's what I'm gonna teach you today. So let's get started. The first problem that we have here is two plus five. So let's put the bigger number in our brain. In this case, the bigger number is five. So that's the one I'm gonna put in my brain first. And then we're going to count up since we're adding two more numbers. Five in our brain, and count up two more. Five, six, seven. The answer is seven. Across the sky and down from heaven, that's the way to make a seven. Two plus five equals seven. Awesome job. Our next problem says six plus three equals. So when we're using our brain, let's put bigger number first. It's just easier that way. Six, and let's count up three more numbers. Six, seven, eight, nine. Did you see how I counted up three more? The answer is nine. A circle plus a line, that's the way to make a nine. Six plus three equals nine. Wonderful. 
Our next problem says four plus six equals, what's the bigger number here? Six, so that's the one we should put in our brain first. And then we're going to count up since we're adding four more numbers. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. The answer is 10. All right, let's read that number sentence. Four plus six is equal to 10. Wonderful. This problem says seven plus one equals. This one's pretty easy to figure out. What's the bigger number? Seven. And we only have to count up one more number. Seven, eight. That was quick. The answer is eight. Make an S, but do not wait. Go back up and close the gate. Seven plus one equals eight. Wonderful. I think we only have one more to try together. This one says three plus three equals. Well, these are both the same number. So let's go ahead and put three in our brain and count up three more numbers. Three, four, five, six. The answer is six. Wonderful. Boys and girls, the best way for you to learn and practice addition problems is just for you to try it. So I'm going to have you in just a little bit grab your notebook or a piece of paper to try to solve these addition problems on your own. And if you need to go back to this part in the video and pause it to write them down, you can certainly do that. The problems are two plus three, five plus four, two plus six, and seven plus three. Okay. And remember, it's going to help you if you look for the bigger number to put in your brain first and then count on the other group. That should help you. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for joining me today for this quick math lesson on addition. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye, everyone.